Hi friends and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pan and zoom effect in Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's say that you're making a deck for a restaurant and you want to show off the different items on their menu, something like this. Zooming in on the main dish, and then zooming around to different parts of the menu or the table or the image in this case, like this. Let's build this out together. All right, we're starting with just a single image of the food here. And the magic behind how all this works is gonna be a morph transition, which is gonna transition from this to whatever the zoomed in part of the picture is. So let me just right click on this and duplicate slide. Here we wanna zoom in on the middle dish first. So to do that, you can either crop the picture or what I'm gonna do is just zoom out. So I'll just hit the minus sign down here zoom out on the slide itself, and then I'm gonna enlarge the image and position that middle dish where the slide would be. It might be a little bit difficult to tell. If you have your grid lines enabled like I do, it makes it a little bit easier. And you could also look over on the left where it's giving you a preview of what's in the middle there. So let me just adjust this a little bit. That looks right. And then we also had the call out here, fries, falafel, and salad. Okay. I'm just gonna take similar steps. I'll duplicate that, and we're gonna zoom around or pan around to the different parts of the image that we wanna highlight. Next, we're gonna to go to the top left of this image. So I'll center this on the slide here. Once again, look over to the left where it's gonna give you a preview of what's in the middle of that slide. And this one, we've got the call out rings and wings. And again, we're just gonna duplicate slide now let's say that we want to pan down to the lower right of the image. So I'll just take that and make sure that's the part that's really in the center of the slide now. This one's going to be salad with falafel. Got just two more to do, so duplicate. For this one, we're going to zoom up to the burger, so the top right of this image. And we'll just call this classic burger. And then finally, We'll go down to the lower left where we're focusing on that pita. This one is the perfect pita. All right, so we're using exactly the same image, but we've just resized it and moved it around so that the center of the slide is highlighting a different part of the image. Now, what really works the magic here is your morph transition. So again, if we're here on the first slide, we want to morph or zoom and pan around to this one. To make that a nice smooth transition where it gets resized visually, we wanna come up to Transitions and Morph. And we actually need to do that for all of the subsequent slides as well. So I'm just selecting slide 11, hitting the Shift key, and then selecting slide 14. We'll apply a morph transition as well. You don't need to do it for the first one, just do it for the second and subsequent slides. All right, now let's see this in action. I'll start up in slideshow mode. That's our first slide with the full image. And then I'm just hitting the down arrow so we can advance through the slides. And you'll see that we're panning and zooming around. And all of that transition and resizing is all happening automatically because we've applied that morph transition. Pretty easy, huh? So there you have it. That's how to do a pan and zoom effect in PowerPoint using the morph transition. If you found this content valuable, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing.